Can one high-end gaming GPU be used to power three individual battle stations all running AAA games at the same time? In theory, it's possible. In practice, it shouldn't even be that hard. And hypothetically, it might not be a terrible idea. I mean, with the price of graphics cards these days, well, I mean, there's a reason I use the same 3070 in like every project I do. Let's get this thing in a computer. The magical piece of software that should in theory make this a very easy process that you yourself can replicate is called Easy GPU PV. It's made by the Parsec team and the first thing you need to do to get it working is go to their GitHub page and download the entire repository. I'm not gonna go over all of the instructions in great detail because they have a great guide on their GitHub if you actually want to do this, just follow that and you'll be fine. The first script they'll get you to run is called PreChecks, and this is going to tell you which graphics cards are compatible with GPU pass-through or if there's any problems that you need to fix. So I'm going to copy the name NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 and we'll use this on the next script. Now the second script is where you get to choose what hardware your VM is going to have access to. So I'm going to give it a Windows 10 installer ISO. I'm going to give it 140 gigs of storage, 16 gigs of RAM, and sure, four CPU cores. Why not? Not only does this script automatically make a virtual machine with GPU pass-through, it also automatically installs the NVIDIA drivers and Parsec so you can connect to it with low latency and like play games on it and stuff. It's a super cool project. The script has automatically started my first virtual machine and it looked like it was loading. And that was way faster than a regular Windows installation. Like that took like a few minutes at most. I now have a Windows virtual machine, a virtualized copy of Windows, not native on this computer. And I've got a game loaded up on here through Steam and it is getting 130 frames per second. 130 frames per second in a virtual machine with GPU pass-through. That's pretty sick. Obviously, the screen resolution is a bit messed up, but don't worry about that, we're gonna fix it later. I'm shutting this down because we didn't come here to play one game. We came here to play three games at the same time. I'll come back into PowerShell here, change the name of the VM in the script to number two. We'll change the username, because why not? And all we have to do to make a second pass-through VM is just click run on the script again. That's it. Now we're gonna have two computers capable of running games. The script for the third VM just finished installing, which means we now have three gaming VMs all capable of running high-end games at the same time. And they're all running on one system. We need to build some battle stations for this. Setting up three separate battle stations on a plastic folding table that literally has holes in it seems a bit sketchy, which is why this video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot sent me their E6 standing desk to check out and replace the terrible table I've been filming on. Whether you're working off of a laptop, a dual monitor PC setup, or a triple monitor setup, FlexiSpot's extensive size and material options mean they have a desk to fit your room. I decided to go with the bamboo top and black frame. And yes, you can put three entire computer setups on it and the built-in controls will still let you raise it to whatever height you need. The desktop and legs each ship in their own box along with a helpful assembly guide to make sure you can get everything put together. A process that I found pretty straightforward and actually kind of enjoyable. I just love putting stuff together. Regular adjustable desk feet are included, but if wheels are more your thing, those are also included in the box for you to swap out like I did on mine. I also appreciated the included entire roll of cable tie to help you get your wires sorted out on the bottom. Being able to set your desk to exactly the height that works for you and being able to adjust it when you change activities undoubtedly makes working at a desk healthier and more enjoyable. And I'm not entirely sure what I was doing in this part. I don't know, these things are fun. I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Thanks, FlexiSpot. Everything is set up and working now. All three copies of BeamNG Drive are running off of one graphics card hosted in this computer. The way the setups work is each one has its own thin client. This is just a 2012 ThinkPad laptop. They don't need to be powerful. They just need to run Parsec to connect back to the main computer. I also didn't have any problems getting controllers working. I just plugged in this Xbox controller and Parsec kind of just handles that stuff. This honestly just totally works fine. And now I've got three different games running at the same time. Over here, Stray on the medium preset looks totally fine. Right here, Forza Horizon 5 on the medium preset getting a locked 60 FPS. 
and a solid 47 FPS here on Software Inc. And with all three games running at the same time, our host is sitting at 60% CPU usage and about 74% GPU usage. Not bad. Another thing with this setup is because we're remotely connecting to the virtual machine, if I wanna take this with me, just unplug everything, boom, there's our game. Just like it was running on this setup, I can just go and take this with me now. It's connected remotely. Or let's say you're playing a game on this setup. Maybe this is your main desktop. You can play it on here, totally fine. And then whenever you want to, just leave this computer and connect to it from say your living room computer. And yeah, this one works totally fine too. And both of those are on the same VM. The last thing I wanna try on here is running two copies of a massive game, like Cyberpunk 2077. I've got both of these set to ray tracing medium, and I'm just gonna press benchmark on both of these and see how they do. Okay, these frame rates are not exactly ideal, about seven frames per second. Not even because the GPU's overloaded, it's sitting at like 50%, but our VRAM is cooked, eight gigs completely utilized. It's destroying the performance here. If anything, these VMs are definitely consistent with each other. 7.5 FPS compared to 7.5 FPS. One final test going for frame right now. I've got low settings on both of these and they manage 64 average and 63 average. So a totally playable experience if you don't care about having low settings. Overall, Easy GPU PV by Parsec is a very cool piece of software that I would encourage you to go out and play with yourself, but it's not without its issues. For starters, the most obvious use case I can think of for a setup like this would be to play multiplayer games with your friends. And it kind of sucks at that. The first problem is multiplayer games are usually at least a little bit competitive, and all of these setups require Parsec to connect back to the main computer, which adds latency and it just kind of ruins everything. Plus the image quality using Parsec kind of sucks sometimes. At any rate, it's not a native gaming experience and you're gonna wish you were having a native gaming experience. Another thing is anti-cheat absolutely hates everything about this. I think it just hates virtual machines in general, but like Splitgate, didn't display properly through Parsec despite showing up on the Hyper-V thing. I don't know what was up with that, but also Fortnite, I think the anti-cheat was kicking me. Like I'll load into a game and it'll work fine for a little bit and then it will just crash on all of the VMs. It's very cool that all of this technology is able to come together to make something like this work. It's also just not really that useful if you wanna have multiple people play games. You're better off doing like pretty much anything else. And with that, I now have to take apart three, nope, four entire computer setups. So I'll have fun with that. Bye.